There's only one interesting question in philosophy. <laughs> the interesting question is, what does it mean to live a finite, fragile life in an infinite, eternal universe? Paradoxically, whilst we are definitely physically insignificant, the, the Earth is one planet around one star amongst 400 billion stars in one galaxy amongst two trillion galaxies in a small patch of the universe, right? So we're definitely small. If you think about what we are, we're just collections of atoms. And we're in this pattern that can think you have a means by which the universe understands and explores itself, which is us. That you can have a few things that were cooked in the hearts of stars, you stick them together in a pattern and suddenly it has some ideas and starts writing music. That's quite difficult to comprehend, right? What that happened here, and so the question then becomes, well, on how many other worlds did that happen? And that's where I think the value can come in, because there aren't any other worlds where this happened, certainly in our galaxy. So it could be this planet, notwithstanding its physical insignificance, is the only place where anything thinks for millions of light years in every direction. And suddenly, therefore, you end up considering this planet as being the most valuable place in the local universe.